Hello and welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Anthony and welcome to our hard drive enclosure store. Now here's a little sample of what we carry, uh, but let me tell you about hard drive enclosures and what they're used for. Now you may have an old computer, laptop, somewhere around the house that's just collecting dust. Now little did, do most people know is that you can actually pull the hard drive out of those computers and use them to expand the storage capacity of your current computer. Now the first thing to look at is the size of the enclosure that you need. We have the 3.5 inch, commonly found in desktops, most home computers. Then we have the 2.5 inch, commonly found in most laptops. Now aside from size, you gotta look at connectivity. We have this Rosewell case here, which offers a couple modes of connectivity. So we have eSATA here, and then USB 2 over here. Now, given the two options, eSAT is going to be the faster choice, but you have to make sure that that's available on the computer that you're connecting it to. So from there, we have a third option, which is USB 3.0. And I mean, beside it being marked, you can tell USB has a blue connector inside. There are also other things to look at, like case design, durability, what it's made from. This case here also has a built-in fan to help with heat control as well as an aluminum casing for better heat dissipation. Now, if you have multiple hard drives, there are enclosures that can offer you a bit more for your, for your money. Say if you have two drives, you might want to invest in a dual bay enclosure. This will allow you to put both drives in there in one housing, stays more portable than say two of them, and then also gives you some of the similar connectivity options like USB 2. Now along with that, you have cases like this. Now this case offers a few extra features, as well as the fan on the back. But with two drives in there, you also have RAID control. With this toggle down here, you can go from single drive mode, so it identifies you know, two drives in there and allows you to use them as two separate drives, or you can switch it to RAID 0 for speed, which will stripe everything across both drives, or if you want redundancy, some sort of a backup, you can turn it to safety, which puts it in RAID 1. Now something you're gonna also wanna consider is overall design and portability. Now something like these Vantech cases are going to be sleek and more portable. You know, especially this one right here, because unlike say a three and a half inch case, which requires a power adapter, these smaller, super, super portable ones are powered through the USB 3.0 connection. So that way you don't have to carry around more and more cables. And it's especially good for use with laptops while on the go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to actually install a drive into the enclosure. So we'll take this, our Vantech two and a half inch enclosure. Uh, right out of the box, all you have to do is slide this end out. From there, we take our two and a half inch drive. We place it into the tray. Now one of the things you gotta to remember too is make sure that the SATA connectors are facing each other. So we'll slide into the tray and you can see that our SATA connectors are lined up on each side. And then you push them together. You'll feel them snap into place and then won't go any, in, any further. It doesn't take a whole lot of force. So once it's actually in place, we turn it around and we have four mounting holes. So we'll just have to change the positioning a little bit, make sure everything's lined up. And then we can take our screws, which came with the enclosure, and go ahead and start screwing those in. Okay, all right, now that we have the hard drive fully screwed in and secured, we're gonna go ahead and put it back into the casing. And it just slides right in like that. It becomes flush but there's still two more screws to put in, one on each side here. So it also comes with those screws as well. So we'll go ahead and place it right there. Get our trusty screwdriver back out. And voila, your hard drive is installed and it's almost ready for use. All you have to do is plug it into your computer with your handy dandy USB cable, which usually comes with it and you're up and running. Keep in mind that everything we've shown you today is for hard drives with a SATA connection. 
like this one here. If you are one of those folks with the older IDE connection, you will want to search for IDE hard drive enclosures. Well, that's been our overview of the hard drive enclosure store. My name is Anthony, and thank you for watching Newegg TV. We'll see you next time.